49% for Harris, 49% for Trump. NBC national political correspondent Steve Kornacki joins us with what he'll be looking for today and tonight. And a reminder, as always, the way we decide elections in this country is not a popular vote poll like that, but state by state. So let's get into it. Is it going to be a long night? We had to wait till Saturday to call the election in 2020. What do you expect? Yeah, there's cautious optimism, I think, on both sides of this, that it could be faster, maybe much faster this time. Take a look here. These are the seven core battleground states you've been hearing so much about. Here's when the polls close in those states tonight. And a couple of notes. First of all, in Georgia, they have changed how they report out their votes to make it potentially much faster. The rule in Georgia is that all of the early votes that have been cast, and there have been more than 4 million there, by 8 p.m. tonight, they've got to release the results. That could be 80% of Georgia in the first hour. 7.30, along comes North Carolina, also expected to be fast there. Then you start to move into these. You'll get most of Michigan at 8. That asterisk is there because there's a few tiny counties that are in the central time zone. They'll close an hour later. But Pennsylvania, Arizona, it says 9. The state law there, though, is they wait an hour, so it's actually 10 p.m. Keep that in mind. Wisconsin at 9. In Nevada at 10, and a cautionary note on Nevada, if it's super close and we're waiting, sometimes it can take a couple hours after that poll closing time just to get the first results. If we're waiting for the western states, we may be looking at days, but if it gets settled out east, well, let's go through the, the map then. Let's say you get some of these answers early. Show us the road to 270, what it might look like for either candidate. Absolutely. And, you know, I think there could be some drama that sets up. Or let me put it this way. This will fill in tonight. But again, these are the expectations of both parties of where the battleground is going to be next. So we mentioned that poll closing in Georgia, 7 p.m., and the potential for fast results of all of these states Trump has been polling the best in Georgia, still very close. But if Trump were to get Georgia and that were to happen early, you see that would do. North Carolina, again, quick, and Trump won it in 2020. If Trump sweeps those two southeastern states early in the night, then all eyes immediately turn. Again, the 8 p.m. closing in Pennsylvania because if Trump has those two in his pocket, when Pennsylvania starts reporting out its results, look what happens if Trump wins Pennsylvania. That's the magic number of 270 right there. So when you saw Kamala Harris finishing up in Philadelphia, that's why it's crucial to her campaign to block Trump there. Because if they do, if they block Trump in uh, Pennsylvania, now look, if Harris can sweep those three northern tier battleground states, which Joe Biden won all of them four years ago, she hits 270. So Pennsylvania at eight. I mean, very big moment when we see those numbers. Okay, we will be watching. Steve, thank you. Eat your Wheaties. We'll be talking <laughs> a lot throughout the day. Hold over to you. All right, let's check in with Kristen Welker, moderator.